is again ho 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 holiday relief. Well, time right now is 536 and speaking of the holidays, it's about that time. It's a, it's about that time and you know, some of us are getting stressed. We're going to see some of the best deals of the year over the next two weeks. So you got to get it together. Yes, there is that one video game system in particular. That's a hot item mm. this year. We talked about it last week. News 8 Daybreak's Chris Sadegi joining us now live from GameStop in Plano, where he he seems to be completely distracted. <laughs> uh, we're talking about Nintendo Classic while you appear to be involved in the new age of virtual uh, video gaming here. Chris, good morning. Well, Ron, good morning. I'm not sure if y'all are into video games, but they have come a long way. We got this virtual reality. I'm in some warehouse right now, empty. I'm not sure how I get out of here. But the good news is the hottest item this holiday season, there you are, it's one we actually had 30 years ago. We're talking about Nintendo, Mario Brothers, Zelda, Punch-Out. Those are the games I grew up with. Much more my speed and all part of the NES Classic Edition. It comes with 30 games altogether and the nostalgia is selling like hot, hot cakes. They went on sale Friday and were sold out in 12 minutes here at this GameStop in Plano. The price is $59.99, but on Craigslist, we found some selling for hundreds of dollars. I talked to a man who was lucky enough to get one. He's selling his on Craigslist for $3.25. He explained he wanted it for himself, but hey, he knows an opportunity when he sees it. I put it up for a couple hundred bucks and uh, that would do more for my family than the nostalgia would. So uh, hopefully it'll, it'll sell and uh, give my kids a good Christmas. Uh, you know, spend a little extra on the wife. Well, I sure hope his wife appreciates that. Now, coming up in an hour, we talked to GameStop. They gave us some hints, some tips on the best way to get your hands on one of these classic Nintendos if you want it before Christmas. So we'll talk about that in an hour. And Ron Alexa, in that time, hopefully I can find my way out <laughs> of this Love giant it. warehouse. No, honestly, oh. though, Chris, give me just, just your thumbnail um, review of this here. What do you think of these virg virtual reality video games? Well, it's really a trip when you put it on. A lot of room to move about. It's as if you are in a totally different world, and then you just take off the glasses, and I'm right back in game. Wow. Style. Yeah, while you're doing it, you do look ridiculous. Very I mean, neat, not, very neat. People personally. should check it out. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chris. You know he's loving it, though. He's loving this assignment. I was out at the mall seeing people. I mean, literally, people do look ridiculous. They're wandering around in the middle of nowhere. You wonder what's going on. That as well. All right, Mike Leslie, thank you. Always appreciate your insight. And we want to now turn our attention to Chris Sadegi. He's with our friends over at the ticket this morning. Boy, this is going to consume most of their broadcast today, I could imagine, as well, Chris. Yeah, most definitely will, Ron. They started off with it in the morning musers. Started by saying that of all the touchdowns, of all the wins, yesterday may have been Tony Romo's finest moment as a Cowboy. And the reason why he walked through the face of disappointment and said some things that needed to be said. This team is soaring right now. They're having success. They do not need division in the locker room. And by him going out there and saying what he said, it really kind of puts to rest some of that division. However, that does not mean he is not extremely disappointed. Here's what they had to say about that. But that's going to go a long way in keeping this thing at a very high level. Yes. I mean, that, that needed to be said, and he said it, and it's still got an app. You could tell he just kind of paused there, and this is his team. And <laughs> you know what it was like? It was like when Hillary Clinton said, Donald Trump is going to be our president. Yeah. That was probably the hardest thing she's ever had to say in her life. I know. And the, not that Tony dislikes Dak in the way that Hillary dislikes Trump. Yeah, I don't think there's quite the tension between Dak and Tony as we saw between the two candidates, but Tony said that he is here, he has Dak's back, Dak has his, and so long as they're on the same team, they've got the common goal, and that's the Super Bowl, like a true pro. Ron Alexa, back to you. Yeah, to keep the analogy going, they are bipartisan in their love for the Cowboys.